I've done challenges in the past where I insta-killed normal bosses from Balloonaries all the way to phase. But I think with a new boss challenge, I think we can try Elite. And the way to do that is simply by picking the one of the easier maps out there. I'll do Cubism. Now, the only problem with the boss challenge is that you can't change the difficulty. It's always medium prices. And that is why I've enabled a mod that will set it down to easy mode. Easy mode is just 15% of everything, so I'll just do this 0.85 multiplier, and there we have it. We can play Cubism easy, and we can make it timed mode to see how fast we can insta-kill tier 5. Or I guess all tiers. We'll see how sweaty we want to be, but because there's no actual leaderboard system, we're really just facing, like, we're playing against ourselves. So the reason why I picked uh, Cubism over Logs is because there's more water, which would allow me to employ the first strike strategy, because that is what I did for several bosses in order to one-shot them. Uh, Elite Balloonaries has uh, 50,000 HP for Tier 1, so I need 5 for strikes by Tier 1, which is definitely doable. Also, uh, the only problem is that Geraldo does not, his, his items at the shop are still medium pricing. So this is actually just a tad tougher than true easy mode. Even with the medium price turret, I, th I still think I'm going to go for it. After the second farm, I'll do it right here. Alright, no penalty please and thanks. Frankly, it doesn't really matter too much, but this time does stay in my record. I've also done some experimenting in the farming. And I'm going to try a different build order. Usually I do marketplaces for the uh, Gerbaldo NFT strategy. But we're going to try banks. Right, there was a small bank buff this update, right? It is, a, it is a little bit cheaper now. But that's not the main reason. Mostly because uh, it's actually pretty tough to afford 5 first strikes if you don't do IMF loan to get money. Even though you have to pay the loan back later, you just need the mo as much money as possible by round 40. So round 22, we now sell this 202, and we get a an early bank. So this boomerang can be upgraded to a 002 for cheap. This will get me through until I get my trap up. But yes, just like the uh, usual uh, NFT strategies, we sell this after round 30. How much money do I have after uh, 30? 11,000. So with the NFT money, I'm getting an IMF loan. This way, the capacity of the farm now goes to 12.5k. So this thing already built up 6.5 during the rounds I got up on. And I'm going to do uh, Monkeyopolis. It might be a little bit slow, but I think it'll be fine. So I know you could get really, really try hard if you skip the monkey office and do like multiple IMF loans. That was the strategy to afford five for strikes like usually, but you'd have to go so in debt and I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit out of my league. It's quite a headache dealing with four IMF loan loans at once. So uh, I think just one loan is enough. Okay, now let me do a thing here. I'm going to sell this boomerang. I'm going to replace it with an engineer and give it camo. Okay, this is good. This is good. I actually have my... Uh, IMF loan ready. So let me see. I would collect here. I would redeposit 6.2 and then I'll be full again by 39, which is the round I want to sell it on. And then I would use the loan money. Wait for it. Loan to do this. I need to sell the village so there's less range. Do this. And then do that. There's my trap. Unfortunately, it is delayed in moving. That sucks. Hey, Trap, could you, like, replace already? Thank you. And I think now I just spam marketplaces until round 39. And then I should have the I'm of loan ability by the time 39 rolls around again. How many marketplaces should I get? I think three of them. Remember, I'm not- I'm making less money because I have to pay off this loan. But it's definitely worth it. Oh, I also forgot to do this. I should have sold this thing to get- get stuff faster. I think I would glue- let me- yeah, let me glue these- these, um, leads here. I just want to make sure I don't have to replace this trap too much. Make sure as many things get into the trap as possible for more money. And then the $100 saves, it, saves, it, saves itself. This bank is full. Let's collect 2.5. I'll buy a bigger radius so that when I get the, the subs here, they are discounted. This round's going to be pretty tricky. So I need to sell these before the IMF loan. So that this loan I don't pay off immediately, if that makes any sense. I'm going to wait for this trap to explode. And then when I get... Come on. And you also need to sell it for the cooldown. So I sell this now. Sell, 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 sell. I do this. Collect. Boom. Sell. Sell. One, two, three, four. And five. We did it. With $2,000 to spare. 2k to spare. I'll do one for range just so we... Wait. I, I don't... I don't, I don't want to do too much damage, but I also don't want to get a penalty. 
Is this good? We've recharged our cooldown for first strike. That's nice. Yeah, we got four. And come on, faster. Oh my god. You couldn't have scripted that any better. One frame of penalty. That's okay, though. It's better than have not having this off, off cooldown. And then it'd take longer to kill. So to beat Elite Balloonaries insides, I need Maelstroms. You guys want to see Balloonaries appear and disappear? Here we go. Goodbye. So I think I need to use all three Maelstroms here, right? I didn't even see the amount of time. How long time was up there for? But three mails. I need to sell this for flavor trades. I make like a thousand dollars at the end of the round if I do. Nice. Now I need to not get a penalty here. The glue is gonna make me get a penalty, right? Or no? Okay, good. No penalty. No penalty. Well, that's about as good as it gets for tier one, I think. Now we sell all four uh, for strikes for uh, farms. So I think now we can pivot away from the IMF loan strategy. I can just go back to the classic BRF farming, which we all know and love. I'm going to sell the flavor trades now too. I'll sell one discount. And then we'll do 022 glue on strong. As well as rubber to gold here on strong. And we should be making stacks. Now it's operation. We rushed the banana central as early as possible. So that would be overclock it. Get a bunch of central markets and then sell them. We've done this song and dance four, so it shouldn't really be too unfamiliar territory. But yes, uh, tier two, it's going to be 30 first strikes. Instead of five, you need 30, 300k HP for elite balloon areas. That's two Riju potions, x 10 first strikes. And frankly, the money to get that shouldn't be a problem, because 10 first strikes is only like 130k. And there it is, overclock on round 42. This doubles as D camo, so I don't need to spend 215 on camo pot. Very cool. And then fertilizer this round. Also, oh come on, oh, come on, glue. Did you guys see it whiff like 10 times in a row? That's unfortunate. We'll put it on last. So once this round ends, I will sell everything. If I sell one, two, and three, and then four, there it is. Round 49B Central. That's usually about when I get it. Sounds about right. We now sell this for more money because we can get back farms that will, uh, I think, outpace what that flavor makes, especially with the Banana Central. So we go top path. Two Maulers, please pop them all before it, it, it gets past trap. Thank you, that's perfect. Again, you might be seeing this right now and being like, damn, this is sweaty, but I assure you, it could get even sweatier. I think at this, at this point, I pivot towards bottom path farms with nine rounds to go. I don't know when the break-even point is, like, to switch over, but I'm gonna just guess here. How much money you're making per round right now? I gotta believe it's, like, 40,000. I mean it. Also, Monkey City, the five such markets around here. I think this point, yes, I have to spend 5k on the Rejuve. Because if I buy this now, I... You see, I don't have two out of two. And I need two out of two in case... Unless I want to go for, like, 15 for strikes times two. But no, I want 10 times three. So this will refill by around 60. I gotta say, like, the addition of bosses really accelerated people's knowledge of farming. Like, look back to any new... Uh, like, Blue Nair's video when it dropped back in 2021. Compared to the farming methods we, we use now, it's kind of crazy, because this is usually what people would look be looking at, like, I don't know, around 77. I think I'll just spend farms on this last round, and that's the end for real. We don't have to get the first works immediately, 59 lasts a while, so I'm just gonna milk money from these O24s. Not that I really need to. Uh, I'll start selling now, though, um, just in case. Oh, right, I actually don't- I, I, I sold too many. Too many is in three of them. I, I honestly could have gotten away with selling, like, maybe just one of them. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's ten first strikes now. So now I, I can't rely on just the Maelstrom for the BFBs. There's so many that are going to spawn out. I want to say Solver. I want a good central spot. How, how does this sound? Just enough to clip the exit, because there's balloons that spawn there, too. Uh, 5 two, zero with out buff. If the Solver can't beat all the BFBs, I'll add a Maelstrom. But let's go. We are ready to start. Here we go. Wait, I don't have 10. I'm delayed. Oh, crud. Alright, well, it's fine, it's fine. That was decent. 19 seconds. Now, there are... Um, many BFBs. Come on, Solver. And your 20,000 DPS. You got this. Beat it before round 60 ends, nice. 
Good enough. Good enough, guys. So, in the boss challenge, they do allow us to retry for a much reduced discount. Yes, they're still siphoning uh, uh, monkey money from you. Even a, a sandbox mode for the boss. What can I say? Nijiku is all stonks. Alright, so if I sell all, all these first strikes now, I have enough for Ultra Boost. I think it's time. Yeah, we have water. Let's do the Train Empire strategy. So, depending on the amount of money we can farm in the next 20 rounds, I'm thinking Wizard Paragon, Metamorphosis. I generally think we can farm that much money in the next, like, 18 rounds. Because we already pretty much have a maxed Train Empire. Well, not max is 18 because I suck, but close enough. And then now let's fill in every single inch of the map with four two zeros. I should also sell it down to 10 central markets. Let me just see. I'm overboard by two central markets. So sell, sell. We're still at 10. Let's get a Wall Street. And then build back four two zeros in the space. So now that we got Energizer, the only thing I can increase my income more with is literally spamming overclock. Let me pull out the overclocks for each period after you know things are getting, getting serious. You know I want that wizard. The thing is, the engineer, it's good in normal, normal planaries because it, it doesn't have as much, as much HP. Unfortunately, the century explosions, the four of them, cannot make up 2 million damage. I think Metamorphosis will out DPS it. I keep forgetting if I'm out of space, I should use NFT for something. Hopefully it's not too late. Sorry guys, I completely forgot the Monkeyopolis. That would help. It could be higher, but I'm okay with an A4 Monkeyopolis. And now we have even more space to maximize money with. There is still a little bit of space left, but I think I'm going to stop farming. Okay, one more overclock. That's it. There should be close to enough overclocks per per one VRF here. Let's use this round to see how much money we're going to make. So we start at 172. And let's see what, after, what happens after 69 in Bloons TD6. That last part is very important to add. Well, we've passed 100k in one round. That is... Almost 200,000? Okay. Metamorphosis is going to be afforded easily. Hang on, if I can afford both Engineer and Ace, I might do that instead of Wizard. I'm, I'm really not sure right now. Because the thing is, the Engineer and the Ace are instantaneous. Metamorphosis is great, but it's not a burst. It's a consistent high damage for like 10 seconds. Meanwhile, Ace and NG, you can get instantaneous with the Carb Bomb and the NG Explosion. So if I can afford, if I can afford those two Paragons, I'm doing it. So if I want to go for NG... I'm going to have to uh, get it now, so I drop all, all turrets at the time. I don't want to do it too close. Cut it too close to 79. I just sold a couple overclocks so that I don't lose too much money. I think we go for it now. No cash lighter should get 20. I believe that was 25. Perfect. Now I build temple. 31. Yep, that's enough. That's enough. I'm just going to do plain support temple. So it's dangerous because this does put me below... Below the amount of money total needed for the Ace Paragon, but that's fine. I still have Mumble around to get it on. I just need to charge the uh, the Carbon, which is fine to do next round. This True Sun God, I'm, I'm just going to keep out of like convenience reasons for the rest of the game. So uh, I'm going to give it range immediately. This should be plenty. If it's not going to be 20, I will cry. Luckily, we did it right. So this is what you have to do for the Engineer. You have to, you have to just have this ability up, which is good. So I drop it to explode the purple and then sell the whole NG to explode the last three. That's how you get the uh, the massive NG damage. And we will have about 200k if I don't sell for just other uh, towers to do the last, like, little bit of damage that Ace doesn't get. Oh, I don't have, I don't have Purple yet. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give time. That's fine. It's not too late to do it now. It's probably too late, but whatever. You can afford a lot of things with a 40% discount. So, Tax Zone, all the debuffs. And then Sun Avatars with the space that the Tax won't get far enough away from. Hell, we'll even use Dravaldo's Cape to, you know, squeeze him in tighter. I think we're good after the Avatar Wrath. I'm ready to go. So, uh, let's read you first for these cooldowns. Alright, can even overclock some things. I'm ready, SpongeBob. I'm doing it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, Car Bomb now. I can't do the NG. I can't do the NG trick. I'm so bad. I'm just going to sell the whole thing. What is even on the screen right now? It's gone. <laughs> How long did that take? I have no no idea. But we just nuked out 2 million HP in... However long that took. Oh my god. Talk about overkill. Not bad. Not bad. I think we could have gone faster, but I'm happy. 
I'm happy with that kill. Guys, that went so fast, I couldn't even process what was doing the most damage. How much did Ace do? Let's see. 862. Tax zone, 148. Like, there's not enough money right now to, like, spend it all, so I'm just gonna keep the Ace, even though it'll take away Poss from, from my next Paragon. I think I just want to keep, keep it for convenience reasons. I think for Tier 4, we just do the same thing all over again, but add the Metamorphosis Wizard. So I'm gonna try to just accrue Pops on Wizard. So stuff Archmage at the front, stuff Pot at the front. I'd say we can probably even aim for like a uh, degree 40 Wizard Paragon, so even Cash Life if we need to. Actually, no, I would use uh, Paragon Totems. I'll wait the leveling for uh, Geraldo. Also great, Center Path Ace in the corner. Pretty much does not get Pops, so no worries there. You know what, we have so much money, I think I'll just power level them now. It's only $30,000 to get the... Uh, Totems, sure thing, sure thing. Okay, I also, yes, I will stop ultra boosting farms. I think I'll ultra boost damage. So tax zone for sure. That's why I also pre-placed a bunch of 0, zero, zero attacks so that the perm brew can already pre-buff them. I messed up for tier three. I've decided I want to keep the wizard that I'm gonna get here for the rest of the game. So it needs to be degree 60. First things first, zero money gets me degree what? 40, oh my god, that might, that might be a lot of money to get, degree 60. Let's say half a million dollars, that, that, that ought to do it, right? Nope. Ow, ouchie, my wallet. 725. Get out of here. 789. Please. Thank you. That is one expense, expensive paragon. At least I still have 1.5 million dollars left over. Just in case I messed up, I'll add a main mob too. There is a very small chance I don't get the ability up, because I swear I was start I, I want to get this 95, but I guess I beat 95. Forget, let's go. Alright, how do I make this wizard not attack? I gotta use the drain beam. Yeah, drain beam does that. This is good, this is good. But I need to stall for that metamorphosis. Which, as you see, is only a quarter through because it's slow as hell. Alright, there's 96 done. Uh, we got half the cooldown. I I'm okay with that. I think that's okay. Okay, now we gotta get Engineer, because, right, I need to drop those four, those four sentries. Please be Degree 20 Engineer. Yep, we beat it very clearly. The way it's looking, I probably should have dropped the Engie and the Wizard in the same round. Alright, I gotta keep on making sure this thing's disabled. Because once it hits max, it, it, it defaults back to attacking again. There's two down. Okay, we'll get Metamorphosis. We're fine, we're fine. We are saved. Just, I don't know about Engie. So I made sure to give the Perm Brew more range so that it can outbuff as much as possible. And let's play out 99. I got my sentry dropped. Just not the refresh on that purple one, but that might be fine. I didn't do it for a tier 3. It seems like we didn't even need it for tier 3. Mad and Ray Doom. I have money, yeah. Let's do it. One million dollars left over. I think we're just good to go. Oh right, overclock. I sold the- oh no. Guys, we forgot the overclocks on the tier 5 towers, but it's okay. We'll do it for tier 5. So in order, what do I do? Well, let's play Homeland, this, Metamorphosis immediately, Car Bomb, um, um, I'm looking at the top right, there's like 100k per frame. Oh my god, okay, I need to find NG. I need to sell the Engineer Paragon, but I can't click the damn NG. Well, GG guys, we're not getting the explosion off. I mean, that would have only saved us, like, what, one second? I mean, that would have helped, but damn. Too much stuff on the screen, guys. Too much stuff. We're not resetting. It is what it is. I can't I can't find the engineer. All right, then. How fast was that, even? The, the, the menu was covering up the timer, but there it is. 41 second, 42, 43 second tier 4. Yes, we'll also make sure to make the projectile smaller. That would help. There was a bit more to the right, it seems. But damn, look at that. Five million on the Wiz Wizgon. I think I think that carried. That carried 10 uh, like tier four hard. Now we sell the ace. So that we get all the paragon totems on it. I've decided I'm not gonna sell the engineer anymore. Just because uh, it's it can't even one shot. The sentries can't one shot 40 million. So I think I'll just save the money from selling and rebuying it and just get like more paragons. Like ninja. I feel like ninja would be good for uh, to blow the rest of cash on after the ace. Because we're not going to get close to one-shotting that, let me tell ya. I gotta sell these sun avatars here. I didn't realize they're so OP. 
We'll get them back later. Later. We need to get those pops on the ace, most importantly. I think we just... I, I want to sell all the farms now, just to clear out the clutter. Let's start getting up the ace barrier on all the other stuff that we need. Let's do it. I'd love a degree 80, but I don't think it's going to get there. Let's just see. I lied. This is this is good. So I should probably just get a boat paragon after my ninja. The bear, the boat paragon is just there to increase the attack speed. It can just be degree one, but ninja can be beefier. I actually can't put that much money into the ninja. Probably just enough for degree twenty, maybe forty. I'd say only two hundred k. If it's not forty, I don't care. Uh, it, it might take too much money, guys, to get to degree forty. It's no big deal. This is also 227, but still, I, wa I want money to spend on, like, a Legend of Night, etc. I don't know why I sold the Flavor Trades. Whatever. It's only there to buff the... Uh, it's only purpose is there to buff the Ace. That's it. No redo. Just one. Degree 10, actually. So now, with the rest of money, we go all in. I'll start with the Legend of the Night. I believe the money I get from selling the Flavor Trades is better spent on these avatars. And also, I need to chunk this, this uh, thing away. To the right side, because there's so many towers that do not have buffs there. And I'll fill this space with, I don't know. See if it can fit attack if possible. So how fast a kill do you think this is going to be? Let's turn this down to 50. 40, 40, 40, 40. So now before I start the round, I use the 16 overclocks on all the strong stuff. So that would be the tier 5s, of course. And then followed by sun avatars. I think they're better than the overdrives. Oh, right. I also get so much more money by doing this. Because after I, I overclock... It's gonna be too laggy, so I have to just sell them to recoup the money. I have the sell copter, so don't worry. I'm getting extra sell back. And I can use this money on... I mean, what else do I have? Well, with the extra 190, more sun avatars. They are definitely the most efficient. People have already... Bosses have already done the math. Once 320 supers can't fit in range to attack tier 5, we get 204 snipers. Alright, I'm out of money. Here we go. Three hours put into this... Completely pointless run to showcase nothing other than to see Elite Balloonaires get melted. And my PC. Good luck to my PC, alright. So, I have to find Geraldo so I can use Reju Potions. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. How fast can we pop him? I'm using all, I'm using all. Uh, Metamorphosis now. Car bomb now. And here we go. I hate that the menu is covering. But I have to, I have to hover over for the Rejuve. Actually, I'll do it now. Rejuve? This is 40% projectiles, by the way. I think this is good. We're dropping 400k per frame. I like this. I like this. Uh, I should try to NG, but I don't think... It's too risky. It's way too laggy. I don't think I can handle that. I'll try. But this might be a regret. Yeah, I, I can't even... I, I can't click it right now. Oh, uh, well. Okay, this is good. You guys can still see the DPS. I guess we can only see after this boss is dead how much damage each tower did specifically. Right now we just gotta focus on those rejuves. I'll be happy if we get under one, two minutes, two minutes. Maybe 130. The way it's looking. By the way, the first homeland's still being used. It's still active. So that, that basically that means one homeland got us almost halfway. Unfortunately, because Metamorphosis is off cooldown, we probably lose DPS. The last half is going to be, go much slower. Alright, Homeland's back. Activate. And Rejuve. And I don't have to hover or Geraldo anymore. Hell, maybe now I can try to uh, drop that... That turret I was trying to drop earlier. Like that? Like that? Blueness is still here, right? <laughs> sure, let's get that, like, 100k damage explosion in. I don't know if it's worth using the Phoenix also. Like, it'll get rid of the Phoenix. In exchange for damage over time. But will damage over time really help when we're gonna kill tier 5 in like the next 30 seconds who knows okay now let's take a look at the pop counts there's nothing else i can do uh only a million okay engineer kind of stinks here's a set 8 million 10 million now 8 million on the uh, on the whiz gone here can i find where ninja is send a shadow is only at 2 million tier 5 here is gonna be slow burn and by slow burn i mean one minute it takes one whole minute to break down to, to do 40 million damage and I think, okay, we can probably sell the energy gun now at like 2 million. Yes, so you just sell and then all three sentries explode. And I think I did like about a million damage. Hashtag worth, that saves me a bit of time. Alright, 131 it seems. 
we will finish off. Not counting the time between the death animation. I'll take it. Overall, 500 towers placed, 600 abilities. And we have defeated Blunaris in 134. I can't- I completely forgot to upgrade this tax shooter. Oh, we gotta restart, guys. 13 million. 3. 9. And how about the other towers? 1 million, 2, 8, 2 million. Funnily enough, Sound of Towers are equal to Legend Knight. Mad, 300. Radium, 300. And all snipers at about 40,000 or so. And now that time should be recorded in our boss challenge record sheet. Yep. It even records both your least cash and tears. Boy, that's gonna be- these two are gonna be pretty hard to beat, guys. What will I do?